Look at the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop, TG01-0023W, or any really HP Ryzen gaming computers you could actually upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade the RAM and then set the settings in Ryzen Master. I'm going to show you how, and then also I'm going to maybe uh, overclock it a little. Okay, so this is the RAM I installed, okay? So two gigs, <clears throat> there's only two slots in the motherboard. So this is what I got, installed it. Okay, and then I have to change the timing. When you when I installed it, it gave me a really bad timing. See, the megahertz right there is only two thousand, so it wasn't running at full speed. So I had to download Ryzen Master. So let's see. Okay, I download Ryzen Master, get it running. Okay, and then I had to change a few settings in this. <clears throat> so while it, was in, while it was in the timings, so you're gonna have to change, I have to change the timings in this, okay, and the clock speed, okay? So how I, how I did that was pick one of these modes you wanna do, and I created my own. So this was the <clears throat> settings I wanted to do. So to, un, to overclock it, you use these settings up here, you could do precision, boost, overdrive, or overclock. It was it was only like 100 megahertz more. It wasn't that much. Okay, those were included already. Then you could overclock those. You could test those out if you want. And then to clock it to 3200 megahertz, you have to change it to 16, okay? 16 megahertz right there, okay? And then I have to do the cast, okay? Right there to 16. 18 to bus <clears throat> and those right there this is this is the new settings that I would be using but if you want to load it in CPU Z it'll tell you what the settings are or what how bad they were because I think it was based on the last memory module so let's see see it was not even in full frequency and this is when you load up the CPU Z you can tell what the memory is actually set to. So if you wanted 3200 megahertz, right there, these are the settings that you need to set it to. Right there, okay? So I got those, pulled it out of there, and then went to Ryzen Master and put it in there. So this one, 16, okay, latency. 18, pre-charge, road pre-charge. 18 for that one, okay? On that, I don't know. I, I, I don't know all these settings. I only know a few of these. So <clears throat> that one was 52. Uh, row cycle timing 54, RAS active timing 36, and then CAS write length C18, and then that's all the settings I did. I didn't change any of the voltage or anything. So after that, <clears throat> you'll do apply and test, okay? And it'll test out, the testing will test out the CPU overclocking for you to test it out if it runs well or not. So you just apply settings and then it'll restart for you okay so wait for it to boot <clears throat> so how you like and subscribe if you can and tell me if you have any other timings I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really that in the mood for like changing the timings and stuff but I just wanted it as basic as it can so it'll take a while to boot let's see it's loading right there Yeah, I'm running uh, a quad HD panel, so 32 inch. I'll have descriptions in below. Okay, there it's loading. Run Ryzen Master. Okay, approve. Okay, it's running stress test. Let's see the CPU right here while it's running stress test. Right there. The CPU is running and then it changed the memory to the settings already. And I'll show you after too, after it's finished the testing. <clears throat> because the timing on the, the RAM that came with the computer is, is a little high. It's, so it's not that fast. So this one should be a little faster. So look at that. All the settings are done and then it's boosted.
overclocked by itself. And then if you go home, it tells you what it's set to. See, it looks like it overclocked to 4,200. So maybe 100 or 200, I don't remember. Overclocked more. And then all the settings right there. And then, voila, right there. And then, voila, see? It changed the over the memory speed to 3,200. And it's dual chat, okay? And then you go to CPU-Z, and then everything sh should be up and running. So let's see. On CPU-Z. Okay. Here's a uh, cache. Motherboard stuff. Memory stuff. Look, there's a the memory stuff. Frequency. And it's fixed, and it's to 1600, 16, 32, 32. See? Voila. And then, voila. wonder what are the benches for. Does it change anything? Nope. Okay. So, yeah. There it is. Let's take a look at, if you want to look at, look, look at the other settings, or what it's running at. There's a temp, speed, watts, or power, stuff. And then, voila. And then you can go to settings and have, I have, where is it? Right here, show histogram. So it shows the temperatures of everything. So yeah, so that's how you get this part. Okay, and then there's a RAM controls. And there's the settings. There's my settings. I don't really overclock it that much, or boost it that much, so yeah. Do not, if you do mess up, if you put it to way too much, to like, I tried it on 3000, and then I restarted it, it wouldn't even boot, so it was all black screen. You have to take out the memory motherboard's battery, and then just power it off, unplug the computer. Okay, unplug the computer. Take out the battery from the uh, motherboard. It's like this small. And then push the power button. And then it should power up, Like pull all the power so there's no power. And then you put in back the Cosmos battery. And then you turn everything back on. And then it'll reset the Cosmos. And then that's how you go back to basic. So yeah, discard that. So yeah. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm going to try and run a benchmark or... Not Ben Parks, I'm gaming on this to show you I've been running Apex Legends. And yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.